What up? T-Bob here. And Jake as well. And look at you. You done stumbled upon little OTB Saints, where we bring you all the latest black and gold coverage. Who are the Saints going to draft? Who's going to be their quarterback? What does the salary cap look like? All that information and more. Hope you enjoy it. Like, subscribe. All right, let's get into, uh, real quick on the Saints here, uh, as far as the game is concerned on Sunday, it's the NFL. You can't take anything for granted. C.J. Stroud has looked very good thus far. Uh, looking like the early... Make sure I have this right. Yeah, looking like the early winner of the rookie class, right? That Every offseason is filled with quarterback debate. Who's going to be the best? And there is no doubt. Like, Anthony Richards had exciting moments, but yeah. he can't stay healthy. Uh, everything in Carolina is just going wrong right now. Even Frank Reich's talking crap about the owner, essentially, in public. Um, Will Levis doesn't exist, and C.J. Stroud's been awesome. I think he finally just threw his first pick this last week. So, C.J. Stroud's been good. The Saints have maybe struggled with rookie quarterbacks in the past, but I cannot fathom that this Saints defense will lack in success come Sunday. And so what that means is, okay, how do you end up losing this game if the offense just doesn't show up and craps the bet? And so once again, we are calling upon you, Pete Carmichael, and this offense to find a way. Trevor Penning, you have to be better. Chris Olave, you got to get more involved. The last two games, I know you caught a touchdown last game. What is it, three catches for 16 now? Mm -hmm. The last two games, that's got to crank back up. Mike Thomas, I love you. You've been great. You keep doing you. Um... Who else? Uh, I'd love to see Rashid Shaheed and some of that explosiveness come back from earlier. Uh, what you saw in the offseason. And Derek Carr, man, you you you, you got to be better as well. Because the only way you lose this game Sunday is if the offense lets you down. When you look at what C.J. Stroud's been able to do, it has been impressive compared to the other rookies. I mean, they're not even close. I mean, Richardson and Bryce Young are not even in the top 32. Yeah. As far as quarterback yards uh, through the year and per game and then completion percentages, certainly for Anthony Richardson, way down. Uh, C.J. Stroud has, you know, 11 sacks on the year. So that's one thing. But yes, hold on to the good. football is expected by a rookie. And I would expect the Saints offensive – or sorry, Saints defensive line to get after this offensive front for the Houston Texans. And they should make it uncomfortable. As good as C.J. Stroud has been, he ain't faced what he's about to face – coming up this week. I mean, this Saints yeah. defense has looked really, really strong, and it's really regardless of quarterback that they've played for the most part. So, C.J. Stroud, highly impressive. I think the Texans right now, with D'Amico Ryans, the future, the way they're uh, trending, they should be very excited. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. everything kind of stacking up against them in this matchup, in my opinion. Let's go Carl Granderson. Can you do it again? Uh, excellent last game. Essentially won you that game last week very excited to watch him and cam jordan rush the passer again love seeing the continued development of brian brzee uh, i'm feeling confident boys i feel like the saints win this i feel like they move to four and two and i feel like you got some juice heading into uh as, as you continue to break down this second quarter of the season yeah, yeah. easy travel too. I, I hope it doesn't yeah, come that's important true. It's, a, it's a three by three trip yeah three by three Close. three on one side three on the other plane trip anytime in the NFL, we used to say three on. It's a three on three trip. Anytime you had a plane that only had, you know, the oh, six yeah. six yeah, seats across, not the full middle, and not then the, the full other two. middle. Yeah. The, yeah. You're like, hey, quick trip, three on three trip. Oh hell yeah, I never yeah, heard so that. That's before. what this is gonna it's be. It's a short trip. I'm making the five hour drive myself, um, and I think it's a good matchup. I agree with you guys. I know he has zero interceptions, but that stat's also a little overblown in my opinion. I was seeing PFF said that oh, he, he has, still didn't throw one. No, 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 yeah, and he has five turnover-worthy uh, throws on the season. Jesse Bates also dropped one last week, so that was two interceptions that could have been. Saints are third in the league right now with seven interceptions. Hopefully we see some more of that. Hey, why is it taking you five hours to drive to Houston, by the way? That's like 355-4. Oh, is it? Is yeah. it from NOLA? Oh, you're driving oh, from yeah. NOLA yeah. from here. From Metairie. Okay. Metairie. Yeah, no, that's, uh, that's going to add a little bit. Wow, just amazing black and gold takes right there, Jake. I don't think I've ever heard any takes that are better than the two guys that just gave you that take. And you can keep getting them by going ahead and liking, subscribing, ringing the bell to get notifications when we post. Have a great day. We'll see you on the next OTB Saints.